Alright so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can jailbreak any PlayStation 3 model within few minutes in 2023, so you can have any PS3 Slim Super Slim or even Fat PS3, you can jailbreak with this method and you can play games directly from USB, and there's a lot more things you can do in a jailbroken PS3 so first of all what you're going to be needing is your USB drive and the main thing is PS3 software version that is a 4.89 and by the way that is the latest firmware update so you can jailbreak PS3 on your latest firmware update so you can see I'm on 4.89 format version so that means I can jailbreak the latest version of the PS3 and you can do that as well like you know latest system version of the PS3 can be jailbroken with this method as you can see I've got all of the jailbroken um things that I get after jailbreaking so anyway first of all what you're going to be needing is you need to make a USB so inside that USB you're gonna have to have the hybrid firmware update that we're going to be updating with the PS3 so uh, first of all you need to have the USB into the FAT32 format and inside the USB you're gonna have to have this update file is going to be in the description you're gonna have to download this update and then you will have to paste it inside the USB uh, folder called PS3 and inside the PS3 folder it should be update capital update OK update and inside that folder you're gonna have to paste this update file that's going to be the hybrid format that we're gonna be uh, using to jailbreak the PS3 so once you have the USB ready you can name the USB to anything that you want so once you have the USB ready if you have anything else in the USB drive simply delete that if you have anything a uh, personal data copy it into your computer but simply delete it make sure you have the folder called PS3 inside the PS3 folder update and inside the update folder update Puppet should be exactly written same, and we'll set the USB ready you're gonna have to plug the USB drive into the PS3, and make sure you plug it in on the right side of the USB port like you know the one that is close to the Blu-ray drive of the PS3. And once you connect the USB to your PS3 what you want to do is you're gonna have to update the PS3 with this hybrid firmware, so you will have to go to system update and Make sure you disable automatic updates in your PS3 that's that's important and then you will see you're gonna see this hybrid firmware update option simply update your PS3 with this and then we'll um gel bitter PS3 after the update is done for an update might take about like 5 to 10 minutes depends on your hard drive into your PS3 if you're using an SSD in the PS3. Being done do not close your console do not turn it off or else it will mess up your whole system software you might have to refresh it using the BIOS. So now, once the update is done your PS3 is gonna reboot. And you might have to flash the update two times just to make sure that your PS3 have the hybrid firmware before you jailbreak. So I just um updated it once you can update it once more time using the USB drive that that's gonna be like not just to be on the safe side that you can do that. So anyway, once you update your PS3, you're gonna have to log into user. And by the way, do not log into your main user or just disable auto sign and you don't have to be signed in while you're doing these things trust me do not so anyway i'm gonna log into this user and now from here it's going to be pretty straightforward you're gonna have to go to tent connection and enable the internet if you have internet disabled but make sure you you know sign into a playstation network so instead of internet enabled you're gonna have to go to internet browser and once you start internet browser you're gonna have to do a few settings because this is where all the jailbreak is gonna happen so you're gonna have to first go to tools go to home page and then you will have to choose blank page ok use blank page you're gonna have to set the setting and once you've done that click ok and then you're gonna have to go to tools and delete all the data that you have into your um, browser delete cache delete history delete 
every light things that you can in the browser to make the browser as light as possible because again we're gonna be chill breaking using the browser so now Once I've done that you're gonna have to restart the internet browser, and then you will have to search PS3 exploit, so what you want to do here, is you're gonna have to go to file go to entry, and add this specific address. That I'm going to show you right now HTTP, and it's gonna be on the screen, and also in the description, as well. you will have to choose install he and alternating this one right here and once you click on that your jailbreak is gonna start into your ps3 so i'm just gonna do that right now it will open a new page it will initialize it will tell you what to do after that and from here it's going to be real simple really straightforward and you will be able to deal with the ps3 so initializing might take a few times but for some reason it gets done in 35 not 100 so don't worry about that don't worry that it's slow it's gonna be done in 35%. Install HDN on the screen so you're gonna have to close the browser open, remote play, and quit immediately ok so after that it's gonna be pretty simple for you as well, so you will have to open remote play, and remote play might get glitched that's completely fine as you can see my remote play kind of got glitched it is totally fine all you have to do is even have to keep pressing the back button that will be the circle onto your PS3 controller. So keep pressing circle after opening the remote play and it will exit it out, and yeah, your PS3 might restart, that's completely fine from this point, it's okay, if your PS3 restarts on itself, do not get worried about that. So once your PS3, you will see install HGN option, simply click on install. And remember, not everyone's PS3 gonna restart, from here, you might just get install HGN option, I go instantly after opening the remote. And closing it instantly, and after you install HGN, you won't have to restart the PS3. So I'm just gonna wait until the edge and installation is done, and once it's done you're gonna have to go back and simply restart your PlayStation 3. And you can simply turn it off and turn it on again, now your PS3 is 100% complete. All you have to do is boot hen every time you start up the PS3. Then go into Multiman and then you can copy your PS3 games and make backups. You also can run Homebrew games and apps. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. It's leave a like on the video if this was helpful. Subscribe and share. Thank you so much for watching. You are all the best and I wish you all good luck and happy gaming. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now and have a great day.